Uh, okay, also, uh, this morning uh, we're seeing a unique style of Kung Fu called Wing Chun. Now, first of all, we've talked about Wing Chun like a number day, of times day. on our show. It's one of my favorite styles of Kung mm -hmm. Fu. We've had uh, Wing Chun demonstrations on our show. Bruce Lee, it's Bruce Lee's original style. You got it. Of Kung Fu. So what's yeah. Christy have to do with yeah. it? She's going to try it out. <laughs> Well, I love that Rick even has a list of favorite kinds of Kung Fu. <laughs> this is something that I didn't know. Now, there's a whole variety that you follow, but uh, yeah, Wing Chun Kung Fu, the type of Kung Fu that we're going to talk about today, and Grandmaster hey, Samuel Kwok joining us this morning. Thank you so much for coming. All the way from London, correct? Yes. yes. And, and you teach all over the world. How long have you been you know, mastering this? I've been doing this art for over 40 years. And what is it about this type of Kung Fu that makes it different from others? Um, it is very scientific. You don't have to be big and strong. Um, so other types of Kung Fu, you might have to be very physically built? Um, yeah, they're suitable for any age. You know, like from children to adults, even uh, my... my, my uh, Your own instructor, right? Yeah, it's my Sifu, my teacher, his uh, father taught Pusli, and uh, he's 90 years old this year. So 90 years old and still doing this? 90 years old. Oh, yeah. my gosh. He's still practicing, yeah. So, and you said it's also very good for the body, that obviously someone who's still going strong at 90 doing this, how does it help your body? Um, it's very good for your circulation, but okay. most important is something we do is called chi sao. Okay, what does that mean? Uh, this is a form of exercise, which is exercising, helping your brain and you know, your reflexes and helping you how to relax. Oh, wonderful. Relaxed, how to cope with life better. So it's a mind-body connection too, it sounds like. Yeah. And this is something that we've seen a lot in films. Tell me about some of the films people might have seen this type oh, of Kung Fu in. Uh, this is the uh, only style of Kung Fu that Bruce Lee did. Okay, yeah. And, uh, and you were trained by the man who trained, or the sons of the man who trained Bruce Lee, correct? My grandma, uh, great grandmaster Yip Man wow. is a guy who taught Bruce Lee. I trained with uh, grandmaster Yip Chun. And um, he's a, a son of the young man. And some celebrities in Hollywood, it sounds like, too, also enjoy doing this. Give us some names. Uh, Robert Downing Jr. and Nicholas Cage. Okay. Yeah, I have used the uh, Wing Chun in the movies. Yeah. So you don't want to mess with Robert Downey Jr. or Nicolas Cage or Christy Seifkin because I'm going to learn some techniques during our break, and when we come back, I might be demoing one. And uh, don't mess with me once, once I've learned this because it looks like what I'm going to learn is pretty intense taking somebody to the ground, okay? okay? All right, Christy. We'll talk to you in a bit. Good morning to you guys. We're back with Grandmaster Kwok, who's demonstrating, well, you can see, completely blindfolded, defending himself. Um, gentlemen, do you know what this technique is called? It's called Chi Sao. Chi Sao. And, and is that something you guys have learned to do in your classes locally? Yes, we have. Do you practice with your blindfold on? Occasionally, yes. <laughs> this is Steve, by the way, in the background, who's giving us our answers. Thanks for joining us, Steve. Grandmaster, we'd love to steal you away for a moment so that we can demonstrate something else. This board that I'm holding here, guys, you've probably seen in lots of movies that someone grabs the board and they break it. I've checked to make sure it's not a trick board. There's no crack. There's no uh, uh, line through the center of it. And you're going to break this, correct, with the, yeah. the help of Steve? And this is a lot harder because you're not having it held stable, correct? Yeah, because in, in a ring chun, we uh, do can uh, have a lot of power in short range. Okay. So same as like Bruce Lee, it's called an inch punch. So I'm going to The inch it. punch, so very close to it and quickly. Do it from about here. Okay. And Let's see your inch punch. Give it to us whenever you're ready. Huh? Yeah. Hey. Huh? <laughs> I fortified it. <laughs> Woo! There we go. Round of applause for Grandmaster. Are your are your knuckles bleeding at this point from that? Do you have any splinters no, no, or anything? No, my, my knuckle is fine. A little bit pink. There we go. I just learned a lesson about American wood. Huh? Oh, about American, there we go. And um, I feel like there might be somebody who's trying to attack me right now. I don't know, I don't feel very safe here. Uh, Grandmaster, I'm gonna give you the microphone. Um, this gentleman, I don't know really know what's going on, but we're going to demonstrate, if he's approaching me and he were to come to me, yeah, the backup technique. That's my technique, run this way. This is something you guys could do at home. And then we punch, 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 punch. Good job. Oh, 
having to hold that pose, by the way, and slowly fall down, because I'm not quite a master at it yet. But thank you guys so much for your help. Um, we've got the details about the lesson on our website. Back to you guys in the studio. All right. All right.